What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do basic animation on any items inside your timeline. Whether it's panning left to right or zooming in or you can do rotations, anything like that. So let's get started. Now if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's get started. Let's head down to the timeline. So I have two items in here. I have just kind of a basic graphic video here which you can see. Let's play it for a second. And then I also have this little text thing that says space. So I want to add some animation to this. So first thing I'm going to do is start with this space text. And I want to add a little motion. I want it to slide in to frame. So let's go to the middle. Let's say we want it to end up here, right here in the middle. So anytime you do any sort of motion graphics, you're going to head up here into the uh, project panel. And underneath effect control tab, that's where you're going to see the motion here, the position, the scale, rotation, anchor points, and so on. And we're going to be using keyframes to make those movements. So let's just say we want this spacing to slide in and stay there. So this is the end point right here in the middle is where we want it to end. So we're going to head over here to the left of the position. You're going to see this thing that says toggle animation. So you're going to create keyframes to do animation. So once you click that, it's going to turn blue and it's automatically going to throw a keyframe here exactly where you left off. As far as the positions, these are up and downs and the left and rights. At the beginning over here, let's set another keyframe, which you, if you push this button right here in the middle, it'll add another keyframe. So now you see there's two keyframes, but at this point we want to start off screen. So we can grab this here, this is the left and right, and let's just move it all the way out of frame. So right now it's saying at this position, we want it to be this, this axis. But as it plays, you'll see it'll move over here where we established we wanted to end right there. So now let me play this back, let me just render it out real quick. So now if I play it back, it moves into place. So because we established this keyframe here and then we told it we wanted the access to be out of frame where we drug it, that's where it's gonna start off. And then it's gonna slowly move in and go to the endpoint. And that's how we can create an animation that has a pan left to right. Now that being said, let's say before, let's go back to this first keyframe. And let's say at this area, before it comes into frame, we want this to zoom in, this background. So now we're gonna to have to click on the video portion because right now you see the white line here. That's indicating that it's activating just the text part. So now if I click this, you'll see the white changes to this video portion underneath. It'll change the, the effect control here to be representing the video panel itself. See when I switch it, it changes. So we're gonna make sure it's on this video part. And right here, let's go up here and let's go to scale. So the position, you can move left, right, up and down, but the scale, is whether you wanna zoom in or zoom out. So let's do the exact same thing we did in the last clip. Let's click the toggle animation because we wanna say we want it to be animated. So at this point, let's just say we want it to be bigger. So let's zoom it in. Let's just say 150, we'll leave it at 150. And then let's scale this back a little bit here. And like we did before. So this is already blue, so it means the keyframe's already established. So let's head here and click keyframe, add a keyframe. So now at this position, let's change the scale size back to 100. So now you can see when it comes in, it's gonna zoom. So it's gonna hit this part where it's saying it wanted 100% scale, and it's gonna grow all the way to 150 and then stop at that keyframe. So I'll play it. You'll see how it zooms in. And then as soon as it hits this keyframe here, it stops. And then the other one kicks in. So that is how you can do basic animation to any items inside of the timeline, whether it's text, video, photos, and you can do a combination of all these together on the same keyframes. If you want it to spin as it's zooming in, or if you want it to fade in and out, or you could, if you want it to pan left and right as it spins, whatever combination you want to do, you can do. But these are the basic fundamentals. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Later.